It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers under the lights on Sunday night. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Acrisure Stadium on the north shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now, and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And <laughs> I can't help. But chuckles. We look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions. I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that. But remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year. And they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. Well, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it and to the 43 so down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line that's where they'll take over well, that's tough you come in here you dial up that pass play on the first play from scrimmage and get it picked and you know coaches always talk about we prepare for every eventuality you don't even mention this as a possibility when you dial up that play right instead they throw a pick and now they're behind the eight ball on the road to get things going so the New Look Steelers offense headed out for their first drive, led by a man in his 13th NFL season now. First is a Steeler, Russell Wilson. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. After the interception, here's Wilson. Oh, and that is incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Now a second and ten. Now run straight ahead with Warren. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here's Wilson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out, and that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one from 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. 
And they've got to be breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief. The first time you throw the football winds up being picked, but fortunately for them, it does not lead to points. Well, that tells you about team football, doesn't it? Everybody gets together. What's that term they use? Complimentary football? Okay, he threw the pick. The defense got together and said, hey, let's shut them down. Let's not turn it into points. They did exactly that. Knight gets a fresh start, a clean slate. Now Hall to start the drive. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. give up the middle and he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down nice job there finding room to maneuver and he worked his way into another first down and look they had great field position to start but boy they've done a nice job taking advantage of it now they're just hoping to cap it off on right, first down right back to Hall and the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second and a couple. They'll go again with Hall. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Straight ahead is Hall. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First and goal from the six. Now it's Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from six yards away. And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. 
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A first carry for Najee Harris. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. First down, and they go back to Harris. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They'll send Austin in motion right. Now they fake the jet sweep there and a run instead with Harris. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten, so now they can keep grinding out first downs and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. Second down and three. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 54 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. Touchdown! Van Jefferson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A drive that time of six plays, and it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will regular down a couple yards shy of the 30. The New York set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Uh, give to Hall running right, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man here is Conklin. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A short one there to Fryermuth. Two yards on the pickup there. Third and seven now. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They go play action now. Wilson oh, going for Jefferson downfield, and it's knocked away and incomplete. Ahmad Gardner bringing the sauce on that breakup. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt. Three-yard return, and the Jets will take over first and ten. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? To throw is Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 
We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. They'll run with Hall. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. Only needed one yard. He said, I'll get you more than that. Yeah, yard, piece of cake, right? And if you're a defender, seeing the back of the jersey and being able to read his name, not a good thing. That means you're in chase mode. That didn't go well for them on that snap. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Hall again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher, third down and nine. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. You gotta love a guy who'll stand in there and deliver. No matter what the pressure, waits for the route to come open, hangs in there, and completes the pass. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. Harris running straight ahead. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. As they've got it as we resume action. 
They go play action with Wilson. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. A handoff for Warren. Oh, what a move. A four-yard pickup. That gets him going forward, but still 15 yards left on third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the draw, it's Hall. Nifty move. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The 71 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now Rodgers going right back to Wilson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throw right side, Wilson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 43. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. A handoff for Hall, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. 
I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Now Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 28. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Handoff, running left. Here's Hall. Had a nice move but can't break away. Down just inside the 30. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because, remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Ball again on second down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for him. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Second and 10. Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Warren. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and three. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. 
And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 75 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Running right through him. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It goes as a gain of nine and it moves the chains. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The former third overall pick, Solomon Thomas, with a high motor that time and the tackle for loss. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, Oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time. But any team will take that type of run each and every time. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Fighting through and he's got space. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Sheds off the tackle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Wilson. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle has made it about the five. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Here's Wilson to throw. And this will be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Throwing is Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers! Jalen Warren, a five-yard touchdown. And the Steelers are an extra point away from taking the lead. 
And that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Boswell for the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Jets offense and Brees Hall headed out onto the field. Now he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. He's putting up some big numbers already, and we have yet to reach halftime. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with still more than a minute to go in the half, time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Another nice catch there by Garrett Wilson, who's off to a really nice start in his NFL career. His rookie of the year in 2022, and in 2023, his second 1,000-yard season. He's looking for an even bigger leap this year with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback throughout the entire campaign. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Rodgers again now. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Rodgers. Got his man, it's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. 
from the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Steelers' offense and running back Najee Harris set to take over once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Now Wilson. Got his man, it's Warren. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those get in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spend in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He finds Wilson, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And Paul has it knocked loose. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. 
On that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will push the lead up to five. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime, Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's second and seven. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. From midfield, here's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end 
doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. Here's second and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So Rodgers will depart and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And that's off the right upright and it bounces away no good. And they'll be unable to build here onto their five-point lead. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. They try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. They hand this off to Harris. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? From the gun on third down, Wilson. And that will to the right side and incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long. And you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Now Rodgers, able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throw right side, Wilson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Going right back to Wilson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. A give running right is Hall, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt always a disruptor there to blow that play up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. All again on second down. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That'll be a gain of 16, and that'll make it third and one. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. And this time he is in. Yes. Brees Hall taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets add six to their lead. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Zerline now for the PAT. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now second and three. And motion left goes a tight end. On the give, this is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Now Wilson. And he is caught. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
First catch so far by Pickens. It's good for a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. This is Harris. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. And Jamie and Sherwood there to make the stop. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. Wilson. A short one there to Fryermuth. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Harris. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he's got it. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. George Pickens, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point now by Boswell. And this is back to a five-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes the right read seemingly every time.
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Uh, give to Hall running right. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Ball again on second down, and he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And a flag comes out as that is batted down and incomplete. But I think there was early contact. Let's check the call. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Out to the right here to Wilson. Five yards, now it's third and five. Here's Rodgers to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets will add to their fourth quarter lead. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Uh, 
A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and nine. Now it's Wilson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Wilson. That's down the field for Jefferson. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 41 yards. And here's the spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Now a give running left is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here's Wilson. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Wilson. And that's incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. But they're gonna wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Jets are gonna get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game, could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's where they're going to ride. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. 
And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Running left, it's Hall. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brent, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. They'll run with Hall. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Straight ahead is Hall. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Try to take this home, they'll run. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. So Russell Wilson in the offense, down by 15. Just over a minute, 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Oh, 
Here's Wilson to throw. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. Passing lanes tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Throwing is Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Wilson. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had a, they had having to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? New York's offense back out there and set to go. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Paul want to give up the middle. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been to bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So it's a win here for the Jets.